Now, our final race is the big one, of course, the Magners Gold Cup. And tonight's one here is sponsored by uh, Jerry O'Malley, uh, Caffrey's of Batterstown. So, I'll start, I'll go right along the line. I'll start with you, Ian. Uh, obviously, uh, Delta Work has had a good preparation with two good wins at Leperstown. Um, how do you rate his chances? Yeah, he has to have a very good chance. He's done take away his first run this year. He was disappointing, but other than that, he's done everything everything asked of him. Probably at Christmas, Gordon has said he we thought he'd need the run. He wasn't he thought he wasn't fit, and he sort of learned a bit from that. Now that he's obviously he's a horse that doesn't need as much work as we were giving him. So he's um, look, he's done nothing wrong. I, last year the race, the, what I say was it the Santini and Paul Nichols horse. I thought it probably wasn't Davy's finest hour in that last year. I thought he should have won that last year. Won very well in Punch of Sound. Take away his, his first run this year. His form is rock solid. And the last day, turning in, Jack was only going through the motions on him. I think he was, he was an easy winner. He won two or three lengths, but it was an easy two or three lengths. And he's, um, again, he's, he, he wouldn't have done as much work as the others, but he's, he's ready to go now and he's, everything is 100% with him. Uh, Thomas, your view? Yeah, um, look, the Irish form, Delta work looks very solid, but I, um, I, I know there's horses being trained for the day, as in Album Voto has had his one run, but I think presenting Percy um, probably sound a bit mad at the minute, looking at form through Delta work and that, but um, Pat Kelly is shrewd, he's, got, he's, he's won twice at the festival, um, he's probably been disappointing in a hole since the RSA two years ago, but I just think... Um, Every race he's run this year is a stepping stone to next Friday week. Um, Pat Kelly is very shrewd, small trainer in Galway. Um, but I, I, I don't know, I just, I, ha I haven't given up on him yet. Like last year, he was a big talk of being um, a, a Gold Cup horse. Things probably didn't go right for him. He didn't get running at times when he needed a run. He's got his runs at the Dublin Racing Festival at Christmas. But I think. This is the race that he's been working to, and uh, I think at ten to one, he's still a great price. Of course, of course, it's hard, he's it's hard to see him. Though, if you look, if you look at, it's hard to see. Maybe they might be gearing towards it, but it's hard to see his last two runs with uh, Delta Work. It's hard to see how he's he's going to have to improve plenty to turn around the farm with him. Ju just one for you. Um, would Davy Russell got the choice to ride Delta Work, or would he have to stay with Present and Percy? Like, surely, if you think Delta Work is going to win, he would have jumped ship, no? Like, I mean, that, Mark Walsh, that probably right. depends on Dave Russell's contract. He's yeah. <laughs> you can jump ship. Have to ask he, he might have gone one. for another cup of tea with Michael, did he? Go, yeah. <laughs> Look, the, I think Davey had started presenting Percy. Um, I don't know, but I'd imagine that's the way it was. Right. And uh, yeah, I, it's very hard to see how presenting Percy is going to turn around the farm with, with Delta Work. Of course, and, and as well as that, Thomas, he's, he's a great record at Cheltenham. He's, he's a bit of a yeah. specialist there. Ronan, the Gold Cup. Yeah, I think Album Photo is fairly solid here. If you're looking for the absolute solid option, it's him. I know people say about the Gold Cup horses, they don't come back. But it's interesting, uh, obviously Album Photo has already come back. He's shown he's well, he's won the Tremor race. Everything about this year has been about the Gold Cup for Album Photo. And it's interesting that Willie thought that last year's race uh, was a stronger race than this year's race. I suppose that's open for debate. But if you take that line that he's come back, he's a year older, He's going to be better. He's proven over the course and distance. Uh, I think he's rock solid at 7 and 2. And I wouldn't put anyone off. Everyone's uh, crabbing Clan des Oboe at Chelham 0 for 5. Uh, obviously, huge negative. But he was fifth in the race last year. He's only beaten nine lengths. And he's definitely a better horse this year. The way he won at Kempton, he won 27 lengths at Kempton. Yeah, his win, his win in the King George was looked like yeah, he's. I wouldn't uh, put anyone off Clan des Oboe. And he's trained by the best trainer of a three mile chaser around, and Paul Nichols. And everything about him since King George. He didn't run him at Ascot this year on purpose. Everything since the Kempton for him has been about. Uh, well, there's very, there's very few would question uh, William Mullins' training methods, but Album Photo, one win and three more, would that give you the real confidence? Well, he, did, he did it last year, I suppose. He, he did it last year, yeah, but I mean, um, would you like to have seen him run in one of the more I, competitive I, races? I bow down to really superior, superior kind of training <laughs> regime, I suppose. Oh, you one wouldn't one have run him again either. Brendan, uh, the Gold Cup for you. Well, look, um, I can't. Ha I know presenting Percy, all the indications are that he's been got ready for one day. But if you look at Delta Work, he, on a second last run, 
he beat Mona Lee, I think, three quarters of a length. Now, Mona Lee wouldn't be found in a Gold Cup. I mean, he'd be delaying the next race, waiting for him to finish. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's not in it. That is the reality. I think um, I can, I really, um, I really respect Willie Mullins. Obviously, they learn plenty about this horse next year, last year. You couldn't say he's a natural jumper, but he got the job done. I can't have Paul Nichols' horse at Cheltenham. So I am going for album photo. Album photo. Frank, Gold Cup. Yeah, like presenting Percy is just one of these horses people love to back. Um, he was absolutely smashed up with us last year. Uh, did us a favour, getting well beaten. They've come from again this year. Look at the field book. You actually can't believe how much money he's been putting them. I'm delighted because it'll pay for my holiday to Portugal in the summer when he gets beat again. Uh, it'll be good for my bonus. Um, to me. Album four is going to win again, I think. Like, everyone's knocking the fact that if you win a Gold Cup, you can't come back to win it again. But how many seven-year-olds win the Gold Cup and actually come back the following year fit and healthy? Not too many get a go. And if you go back to the last one who did it was best mate. And if you look at the way he was trained, he ran the two following years after his first Gold Cup. He ran the Peterborough Chase in November at Huntington. And he ran the King George the first year. And he ran a Leperstown the second year, and he didn't run again to the Gold Cup. I think the key is fresh Because fresh. if you look even at Native River, the year he was third, he won the Welsh National, the old Hennessy. He had plenty of runs, and it just took the edge off when he was third. And the year he won the Gold Cup, he had the one run. And like Willie's done the same thing with Album Photo. He's just, he's still only eight. Like he's, he could improve again. I think he should be a lot shorter. Nobody has mentioned Santini. He doesn't look to be, he doesn't really travel, does he? I think he needs to travel in a Gold Cup. I think he's been pretty reluctant the last two right? Okay, he's won, but he didn't look, he wouldn't inspire you with confidence for me for a Gold Cup coming up the hill. Like the only positive you have with him, well, not the only, but like one of the positive you have with Santini is he had an interrupted preparation for the race, for the RSA last year, and he ran an absolute cracker to finish second, to be fair to him. But like if you're looking at from a value perspective, he's the same price as Album Photos with a Gold Cup, and they're the same age, they're both eight. Like if you were getting six or seven to one, maybe you could consider back him, but at the same price, it's a no brainer. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Final word on the Gold Cup for you, David? Oh, give me another go on Kenby. Um, Last year he had he had a lot of runs and he got better. He, I know he won in Leperstown the second run. Um, presenting Percy ended up underneath me at the back of the first, and I came off him. He went to Aintree, he bolted up. He ran to Cheltenham, he ran away with Ruby, and he still beat the Gold Cup winner. I think he's only getting better with every run. He's looked a bit lethargic and fat every time he's ran, to be honest, um, this season, and. Just thinking now when he's going to strip a bit fitter, he'd be more in your hands. And um, he's not far off them at Leperstown anyway. I, I think he's a lot better than that. I have no doubt he's a lot better than that. Um, yeah, and I think he'd come back to the Punchestown farm and uh, if everything goes well, I think he'd put album photo in his place again. I hope I'm on him. Well, it'll be a fairy tale result for both him and you uh, getting back after only getting to the first fence last year and how the season has panned out for you with injury. It, that'll be a fairy tale result.